Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and today I am going to work with layered stencils. Um, I think this is like the second time that I've used them. Uh, the first one was an Altenew layering stamp. I believe I made sympathy cards from those. But this one here is by Pink Fresh, and I've been watching, you know, these different uh, stamp sets and the stencils that go with it that they've been creating and I've been very much intrigued So I wanted to give this one a shot now. You can see there are five stencils within this packet They are numbered up in the upper um, Left hand corner and that's the order in which you go. That's the image. It's going to create now, what's really fun with this, and I figured I'm going to give it a try, and I'm going to give it a try on the video here, is you can continue it. So if you just use the layers as they are, you're going to get a standard A2 size card or a 5x7, whatever size you want to create. After you do your first five layers, um, at least that's how I kind of looked at this, you can then go above it and create and continue the pattern up onto a piece of cardstock. So this cardstock here is cut four and a quarter by 11. So it's usually, that's my uh, usual standard for my standard A2 size cuts. I cut them all down four and a quarter by 11 and I scored at five and a half. So I dug into my makeup brushes. So when it came to the makeup brushes, those are the ones that I have. And I pulled out all of the small bristles. For some reason, what I am finding when it comes to the layering stencils, I do like a smaller blending brush, if that makes sense. Or I'll use a, a finger dauber or... You know, something small. I, I can't use like the big blending tools or the big brushes. I, I feel like I'm losing control and God forbid we have that. Oh my God. Um, but I just think it's easier to manipulate when it comes to the smaller bristles on the brush. So I don't know if that makes sense, but as you, as you see, as I'm continuing through these layers, I'm choosing my colors. So the colors that I am working with, they are by Altenew. I'm using Frayed Leaf Forest Glades for the greens, Sea Glass and Ocean Waves for the blue, um, Mango Smoothie for the centers of the blue, and then for the peachy colors, I'm using Rouge and Crimson. Um, I'm sorry, I'm only using sea glass. I'm not using ocean waves. My bad. Um, to just get some bright colors. Now, again, use what you have. You can see you're not blending these two colors. They're very distinctive when they get laid out onto your piece of paper. So you could have purple and yellow flowers. You could have, you know, pink and blue, pink and purple. So whatever you have, don't think that you have to have layering colors. You can certainly mix and match on this. So you can see I'm right about the fourth layered. Um, now I was playing with these before, um, before I actually shot this. Um, and there's just all kinds of things you can do. Um, so give them a try, you know, different layers with, you know, mixed media and, and all of that. Again, I just like to play with, you know, dig in and say, okay, hey, what is this going to do? What happens if I mesh this together and, and all of that? Now I'm going to come in with the darker layer of green, which is Forest Glades. So the only two that I used the layers, you know, two different colors that were similar in the same color were the greens and the peachy reds, if that makes sense. Um, just to add that. Wouldn't this be wonderful though if you put this green down first and then you would come in and again standard A2 size card because the stencils do overlap but then laying down some some of that clear glitter. I know Gina Kay has that uh, gel that glitter gel and it's iridescent. It would just pick up that color um, and make it a, a green um, when it comes to that. So I think 
These images are absolutely gorgeous, made effortlessly. Now I'm going to shift this down just so that you can see it. And I'm in screen. See, I remembered this time. Now I'm going to replace the first stencil. stencil. I can't talk today. Now, what's great with these stencils, okay, is you can barely see up at the top. So you've got the name of the, the number of the stencil on the upper left, but there's also these notches. You can see when I'm just, you know, putting it down, you see those corner notches. As long as you line up with that. Now I pushed it down just a little bit so that I would have a little bit more layover um, onto what's already down there. You will have a scene. I mean, until you get used to it and, and all of that, there will be a scene between the two, all right, which is okay, again, because you're not seeing these other flowers coming in until like the third or the fourth where they're, they're, they are going to overlap. But you can use those upper corners as a guide. I did have to shift my painter's tape off to the one corner because this is actually going to go up to the edge of that cardstock. So just these are the tricks and tips that I was teaching myself. Hopefully they'll help you and not, you know, make you more frustrated. <laughs> you know, just to give you a little thing. Here's where you just want to make sure you're down just a little bit over that so that you don't have too harsh of a line. You can see that line right there. So I'm bringing the stencil down just a little bit more to fill in that area so that it's not so obvious. Now, I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to put a sentiment right over that and it's just going to cover up that seam right there. It sits in that one flower and it sits within the leaves, the green. So we are all good with this. I'm looking at the card now and I, I can't even tell where it is. And I look, I, I, I notice this stuff. I truly look. Um, so you can see how the panel is just coming together. Um, I really love uh, the effect. There's so much that, you know, you can do with these. One of the things that I'm trying to figure out, you guys know me, I like to push the grade there, is, again, as I was playing with it, what I found is, I mean, these would be beautiful if you could have, you know, glitter accents, um, just like I was talking about before, you know, being able to put that green down, but then also being able to have the glitter accents for the center of the flower, so where the yellow is and that darker peach color. But again, it's a, it's a huge panel, so you would be going over. You wouldn't be able to get this flat, so it would be a lot of work um, to do that. And me, I love I love a lot of work, but you know, at the same time, it needs to be easy. Just saying, you know, lazy crafter. Yep, we have a frugal crafter, a lazy crafter. You know, I love <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> I don't want to be known as the lazy crafter. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. So we are going to trim this panel down. Um, we are going to lose a section of this because this card um, is going to finish out to be eight and a half by three and a half. Now, of course, that extra piece that I cut off, of course, I'm going to um, save that because it could be used as a border. Um, just put that on the inside of a card. You know, again, use those scraps when we have all of those wonderful colors um, coming through it. This card came together in no time um, when it came to all of the wonderful colors and the layering. So you can get these beautiful results. What's also great with the stencils is... We have beautiful stamps. Um, Alta New has beautiful stamps. Also, Hero Arts and many other companies have these beautiful layering stamps. Sometimes they're a challenge. You know, I find that if I'm on an angle looking at it, I can line it up better instead of being right on top of it. Again, it depends upon the person. There's different ways to do things. But 
these stencils take out that headache. So if you love the layered look and you're just not, you know, you're like, I'm not going to invest in those layering stamps. Here's the alternative. And it's at a better, a better price point, which is awesome. So that's what's great with this. We get these alternative ways to still be able to get the same look, but through different techniques. I pulled out my favorite die by Spellbinders. I do not believe this is available anymore, and it was only available in stores. Um, so I've cut that out three times. I've placed it on top of a piece of vellum. I've added my Spectrum Noir to that. You can see I have two mats. I chose the peachy red and then the green, and I used that same green for my sentiment on top of the vellum. After I lay down the Spectrum Noir glitter pen, I am going to use my glossy accents on top of this sen uh, sentiment just to give it a little bit of shine. I do believe, I agree that it kind of finishes off that sentiment. So kind of ever since I saw Jennifer do that, absolutely, I must do that as well. Um, great ideas all over the place. Once that's done, I will be using my pearl. These are Pearl's Glossy Eggshell Mix by Little Things uh, from Lucy's Cards. And I have placed those in the center um, of the flowers, the complete fl flowers where I could. I either added two or I added three to each flower, again, just to give it that finishing touch. So if you were interested in layering stencils, I hope I gave you some tips and tricks um, in different ways, at least the way that I work with them. And if you were interested in this stencil, as always, it'll be listed down below. If you choose to click on that, it is affiliate links down there sometimes for some of the products. And again, that just means if you use that link and if you make a purchase, I get a small commission, but no extra expense to you. Also, if you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. Make sure you laugh just a little bit, kind of release some tension on finding. I laugh a lot. Um, whether it's good or bad, you never know. But always be creative also. Everyone enjoy. Take care, and until next time.